2023 is an exciting year to build a brand. It's never been easier or faster to get an idea to market thanks to the explosive growth of no-code and AI creative tools. This video is gonna be a high-level proof of concept that should help to expand your mind about what is possible and what's coming with no-code and these quickly evolving AI tools. This is Quickie AI. It is a Chrome extension that's free that gives you access to AI shortcuts that allow you to do all kinds of things. Here's a couple of them, and you can also make custom AI shortcuts. We created this entire brand and website and Chrome extension using AI and no code tools. So we used open AI's GPT, we used mid journey, and we used bubble, the no coding platform. Let's talk about the name for the extension quickie AI. I generated this name using what a lot of people call chat GPT. I actually use the backend playground uh, area on openai.com. I was just prompting it for names for Chrome extensions that give you access to AI shortcuts. I put also in there like uh, an AI Chrome extension that helps users get more done faster. That was kind of one of our little sayings. Based on those inputs, I eventually got the name Quickie. Now I did have to generate probably, you know, a handful of times to finally land on a name I liked. It gave me a lot of names. And, you know, I changed the prompt here and there. Then I went over to Midjourney and I started to try to generate logos. So you can see here what my prompts were. This was my first attempt, professional logo for Quickie, a Chrome extension that uses GPT-3 AI to provide users with quick contextual AI shortcuts for the web page they're on. The logo should be modern, dynamic, and evoke the feeling of speed and convenience. I also put the word dribble in there. Some of that dribble design juice. But I also got some of this from GPT as well, some of this prompt, because I like to ask GPT sometimes to create my prompts for Midjourney or Dolly or Stable Diffusion. And I actually will even use Quickie, the, our Chrome extension, um, which I'll show you here in a second. But I'll just say, give me a Midjourney prompt for this type of image, right? And then it makes usually a better prompt than I do. What I usually end up doing is actually just making a hybrid of my prompt and its prompt. At first, this was okay, but I wasn't super excited about what I was getting, but I, I felt like maybe we were onto something. So I adjusted my prompt a little. I tacked on at the end here, 2D vector illustration, flat, simple, minimal. You know, you really want to find adjectives and um, be overly descriptive in some ways uh, when you're trying to get something real specific. And that's when I got this, this, which ended up being essentially our logo. So I clicked the little U4 here, which upscales it. This is practically perfect. Wow. So actually I downloaded this and I took it in Illustrator and then I vectorized it in Illustrator real quickly, just using the trace tool. You can see here, I also used it to generate some of the images for around the Quickie website. Some of these uh, show up on the sign up page and on the pro upgrade pages. And a lot of times I end up taking these and bringing them into Photoshop or Illustrator and modifying them ever so slightly, maybe removing the background colors, but overall you can get some pretty good stuff here. And now I'm using version four of mid journey. If you try to generate these same type of images using version three, you will get good results still. It was still impressive, but you won't get results like version four. Once we had our brand name and our logo, we then built out our MVP concept using bubble.io. You can see here's the back end of the website in the bubble editor. I did use a handful of plugins that you can see here to help enable a bunch of the features that we've got in Quickie AI. I especially use the API connector a lot. So you can see I'm connected to the GPT API. I'm using a bunch of other APIs here as well and experimenting with new features all the time. We also use our own AI Chrome extension to manage our Twitter account, generate copy for our website and our ads. And it really just helps us do all kinds of administrative tasks and social media management much faster 
than we ever could have before. You can see here we can write page tweets, custom tweets, bio rewrites. We've also got reply tweets. So you can go to a specific tweet and then Quickie will write you a reply to that tweet. So right here, reply tweet, you just select the tone that you want and then you can generate a reply to our tweet right here. Or you can always just do a custom tweet. Tell Quickie what you want to tweet about the topic and it'll create a tweet in whatever tone you want. So I hope this brief overview of our project Quickie AI helps give you an idea of what's possible in a record amount of time. I'm telling you, we had this idea, we generated the name, the logo, and created the Bubble website in record time. We launched it within a week or two of starting. If you're feeling inspired, let me know in the comments below if you've got a tool you're building. Also, post it in the comments below. We want to connect with you guys. And if you need help doing uh, any of this, we have a digital agency where we help people get products to market faster than ever using technologies like this, no code and AI. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next video.